Hey, good morning, family and friends. Welcome once again to Staying Plugged In. Pastor Tim here. It is Wednesday, December 15th. Man, I got to tell you something. We are going to set a record in the weather today. It's talking about getting up over 60 degrees. And I talked to a couple people and they said, man, I could just live in this all the time. All you people in warm climates, God bless you. <laughs> Pray for us in this end. When things break loose, they said we're going to plummet here real quickly in our temperatures. Hey, have you ever had one of those mornings when you woke up and you had this jingle going on in your head? Some old commercial. I had this jingle today. Uh, it was that old Folgers commercial uh, that was on TV. Some of you might remember it. It says the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Now, you know, what's interesting about that. I don't even drink coffee a lot, <laughs> so I don't know why it was there. But the first thought that hit me was this. The best part of waking up is God filling your life. And I couldn't help but think of the psalmist's words where he said, my cup runneth over. I want to encourage you today, whatever's going on in your life, God wants to fill your cup to overflowing. He wants to fill it with his love. He wants to fill it with his goodness and his grace and his faithfulness. You know, God wants to fill our cup with the measures of forgiveness and hope that can come from no place else but from heaven. You know, the Bible tells us that we are to put on the garment of praise. Isaiah 61, and then again in Luke chapter 4. And it says, when we do that, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You know, whatever you're going through that's maybe weighing you down or whatever you're facing that has a tendency to just create a cloud over your life, if you'll put on the garment of praise, it's as simple as that. Just praise God today. Sow a seed of praise. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for the fact that he's more than enough in your life. You know, the Bible says nothing is impossible with God. If you really believe that and put your faith in that, my friend, the Bible says you can speak to mountains and mountains would be removed. Man, I'm so grateful today for the fact that God is filling our cup. And I want to encourage you and bless you today with that. I want to pray for you today that God will do that. You see, when you put on the garment of praise, here's what's happening. You are bringing heaven down to earth. Because if you read Revelation 4 and Revelation 5, man, you'll see that heaven is filled with worship and praise. And when you worship and praise, it has a, a way of just bringing heaven down to earth and the presence of God into your life. And then it has the power to stir faith. When you worship and praise, it gets rid of the, the doldrums and the negativities. And it has the potential just to, to stir up your faith inside of you. And then the other thing it does is it has the power to release the supernatural in your life. We read, we read last week out of Second Chronicles 20 when Jehoshaphat sent the worshipers before the army and how God gave them the victory. They didn't even have to fight. The enemy turned on themselves. You see, praise and worship confuses the enemy. It'll bring confusion. Whatever plot he's got against your life, my friend, listen to me today. When you worship God, it confuses the enemy's plans. And we read in, in Joshua, where Joshua marched around the walls of Jericho. And we know what he did? He put the worshipers out front. When you worship, when you worship, my friend, it brings the victory in your life. I want to pray for you today that God will just fill your cup and that God today would allow you to just experience the fullness as he pours into your life. Father, I thank you today for each and every one who's under the sound of my voice today. God, wherever they live, whatever circumstance they're in, that if they'll just clothe themselves today in the garment of praise, Lord, you said that you would replace our heaviness with joy and a gladness, O oh Lord, that comes from you. Lord, is supernatural. It doesn't maybe make sense to us in the natural, but it's supernatural. It's what you do for us. And so God, today, as we clothe ourselves in the garment of praise, would you today just allow heaven to come to earth in our life? Would you today just stir up our faith, 
encourage someone today. And then God, would you just release your supernatural power to overcome no matter what we're facing in our life today. I bless each one listening in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Hey, we're so glad you've joined us today for staying plugged in. We want to tell you about a very special upcoming thing that's happening this Sunday. Every year, Trinity Christian Center here, we do a TCC family Christmas, and it's like no other thing that we ever do throughout the year. But we have a real festive environment on that Sunday morning. So what we do is we come in and we worship, and after our worship, I'm going to give a devotion. This year, I'm going to speak on this simple thought, what people need to know. And I just have this sense in my heart that it'll be something that will encourage you. It will bless you. It will build you up. And uh, you're not going to want to miss it. So come on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. And uh, if you haven't been in-house, this be a great time to come back and join us for our family Christmas. Then after we do the devotion and the worship time, we move into a time of celebrating. And what I mean by that is we have games. We do giveaways. We, have, we, we play Name That Tune. We do all kinds of crazy things. We've got uh, Plinko this year. You're going to be able to win uh, monies and just different gifts. And so we want to encourage you, come out and join us for that. It's always, always a great time. So we look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. God bless all of you. Thank you for your generosity in this season. I just want to say this. Many of you gave to Angel Tree, and we had 41 uh, children that we were giving to. That's a ministry that gives money and funds to and gifts to children whose parents are incarcerated. And we're excited to tell you that people gave generously. Thank you for that. We love you. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday for a great, great day of celebration in the house. God bless all of you. We love you.